Hello. This week's topic is confess the word. In some of my previous videos, I talked about how words have power, words can speak life and death into you and others around you. Knowing who I am in Christ isn't something that was taught to me when I was growing up. I simply believed and trusted that others, you know, what they thought about me and going from my parents to my teachers and all the way to people who weren't even close friends or even enemies. I compared myself to others in real life as well as fake people and situations in magazines, movies and TV shows. And I thought it was a picture of who I was or how I should be, look, feel, etc. It's a terrible way to live life while trying to measure myself to false perceptions of how a person should be, how a person should look or feel, depicted by airbrush photos in glossy magazines, or people reading perfectly scripted dialogues by expert writers on TV, complete with makeup artists and stylists at their disposals and the whole gamut of things. I seek the approval of the world or you know, a wide variety of people, whether they were good or bad. I wasn't paying attention to who they were, or more importantly, what their agenda was, and all of their opinions of me differed. I often felt worthless, miserable, like no matter what I did or said, it didn't seem to be able to measure up to anything unless I was perfect in someone's eyes, and I never was or could ever be let alone that the definition of so-called perfection is generally going to be very different depending on who you ask. Let's be honest, right? Talk about being rooted in very shallow grounds. As a child, I grew up wanting to please, I think most children do, wanting to hear good girl and becoming increasingly perfectionist and putting emphasis on what others thought of me and it wasn't healthy nor very helpful. God calls us to strive for excellence in all we do, basically doing the best effort that we can. It's not the same as perfectionism, which is impossible to attain since we're born in a sinful flesh. I not only spoke bad things over myself, like... I'm just giving you examples. I no longer do that, but I used to. You're not good enough. Nobody wants you. You're too fat. You're too ugly. You're too lazy. You're not educated enough. You don't matter. You're too young. You're too old. You're too weak. And the list goes on. But I also repeated to myself every things that others told me about myself whether they were right or wrong, no matter who they were. So have you been speaking these types of lies over yourself over the years? Have others spoken these things onto you over time? I didn't even think about nor understood the better part of my life that God doesn't make mistakes. I didn't even think about the fact that God created me and that He is the only one who decides my value and no one else. We have to remember whose we are in Christ and that nothing else matters in that regard concerning our own worth. And it's really important to understand that we must get into the habit of speaking life over ourselves. The world is more than happy to speak death upon us. We don't really need to add that pile of distorted information onto everything else that goes on. And by this I mean we must speak the truth of God over ourselves in order to understand and appreciate whose we are in Christ, whose you are in Christ. And actually like ourselves, you know, uh, through the eyes of God who created each one of us specifically as we are, you belong to Yahweh, our Father. You are not a mistake. And neither am I. 
You are His precious creation, and you matter to Him. He created you for a specific reason, for His specific purpose for your life. And in order to bring your purpose in line with the truth of God, we must be in agreement with what we are in Him, and that's found in the Bible. There is only one truth about you, the truth of God, period. It's not what others speak over you or think of you or what you think of yourself. But in order for it to manifest itself in the reality of your daily life, for you to finally be at peace in your daily life, you must firmly believe it with your whole heart and soul. And that comes with repetition. That's really helpful. It's kind of like exercising, you know. We have to practice it over and over, and then it becomes easier, and we can go further, we can go longer, we can do, you know, something that requires more strength. It just needs repetition. And so we're building good habits here. Walking with God every day is the best habit to develop. And you'll become stronger over time. And this will help to contribute to plant your root and your feet deeper in the solid, fertile ground of who you are in Jesus Christ. So your mission this week is to get into the habit of confessing the Word of God daily over yourself. Pray as follows. Pause the video if you need to and write this down in your journal and read it every morning and every night. It's a good habit to start. Dear Yahweh, dear Yeshua, dear Holy Spirit, Father, I want to thank you for creating me. I know that you love me deeply, and I want to declare your truth about me right now. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I am set apart and made holy by the blood of the Lamb. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, you will condemn, and I will show them to be in the wrong. This peace, righteousness, security, and triumph over opposition is my heritage as your servant, my Lord. This is vindication from you, Father. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. Thank you, Father, for showing me who you created me to be. I am your child and your servant. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So I want to invite you to repeat this prayer every day. Believe it wholeheartedly. Say it with sincerity. I will see you in a few days with more insights in part two. Thank you for watching. I want to thank you for watching our YouTube channel as well as taking the time to seek a closer relationship with Yahweh God. I would like to invite you to consider purchasing a copy of our 52-week Bible study journal called Reflecting on God's Word. I believe that this book is an excellent tool to help you deepen your relationship with our Father, and in focusing on Him, it will transform your life as it has for us. You can scan our QR code to reach our website's Bible study journal collection, where you'll find it available in English, French, and Spanish. Thank you so much for your support to our ministry and for being part of spreading the Word of God around the world.